Frank Pitzenberger here at Paul Sherry RV in Pickle, Ohio. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Crossroads Trail Sunset Trail Super Light. This is a 240BH. It's a small footprint bunkhouse model. To begin with up front, we have a powered tongue jack. It has a light in it. There are also hitch lights here, so if you are breaking camp at night, you can see to do the proper hookup. Two 20 pound LP gas tanks. And although it comes with one deep cycle RV battery, there is enough room here for two. We can add an additional battery cutoff if you'd like to. There's an LED light strip in the front, right here under the super light. Just gives a little ambiance as you're going down the highway. Front fiberglass cap wraps the corner. As you can see, there's no leading edge here out where the water hits the coach during a rainstorm. This is an all aluminum frame, laminated construction. You have a, a barrel roof in this, which gives you an interior ceiling height of seven feet. It's a power awning. It has an LED light strip in it so that you have enough light, ambient light for your patio at night. The wide set axles, independent wheel suspension. You have room out here for your uh, TV. You can take the TV out from the inside, unhook it, bring it out here, plug it right into your patio. There's a cable hookup and 110 power right here. This is just the exhaust for your furnace. This is an access panel for your servicing on your refrigerator. This model does feature the outside kitchenette. Has a small refrigerator, hot and cold running water, a two burner gas range, and it comes equipped for a gas grill for the exterior here that fits on this assembly. This plugs right into your LP gas system. You have a storage bumper for sewer hose, spare tire. This is your cable TV inlet. This comes with a 30 amp, 30 foot detachable power cord. You don't have to feed it back in through a little hole like some models. And this is a sewer tank flush system right here. So when you are breaking camp, you can take your fresh water hose from the front, bring it back here, put it directly into your sewer camp, which has sewer uh, tank, which has sprayers on it, and it will flush out your entire system, and then you can finish cleanup with the exterior handheld shower that's right here. This features a little background noise. Features anodized aluminum wheels. The deep slide out will go inside in a minute. There is a small storage compartment here on the side of the slide out just for accessory items. The six gallon hot water heater works both on gas or electric. That's uh, manageable from inside the coach by the flip of a button. And this is a gravity fill for fresh water if you do happen to camp somewhere remote where you don't have access to fresh water. Here's your regular water inlet for when you are camping in a campground. As I mentioned, this is all aluminum frame, block foam insulated, vacuum bonded walls. It's the best system for uh, bonding, uh, laminating in the industry. Let's take a look inside. You have the large grab handle, three steps, so you have an easy access entry point. In the front bedroom, you have a closet on each side. There is an outlet on each side of the bed. This features the, this is a fantastic mattress. This high cool sleep system, it's like a Tempur-Pedic mattress. It's one of the best in the industry. I, I've sold a lot of campers. I believe this is the best mattress I've ever seen in a camper. You have the hardwood doors, solid doors to seal off the bedroom. They're held open by a little latch right here. The TV does rotate so that you can watch from either the bedroom or from the living area. 
In the kitchen area, you have overhead storage. You have an overhead skylight with window shade. This is ducted air conditioning, as I mentioned before, this large barrel roof. It's difficult to tell in the pictures here, but uh, that is a seven foot interior ceiling height. It gives you the feeling of a very open space, unlike the flat ceiling uh, campers that you've been in, where you feel like you're in a little Cracker Jack box. As I mentioned, ducted air so you don't get hot and cold spots throughout. A nice pantry system here beside the dinette, which as you can see breaks down into a large platform bed that would sleep actually two adults, two good sized adults. And you have the steel platform underneath your tabletops so it doesn't warp out and bow on you like some. Coming around to the kitchen here, you have double bowl stainless steel sink with the gooseneck faucet, sink cover, a three burner high output range with the oven. This front burner will boil water at this elevation in about seven minutes. It takes quite a bit longer in higher altitudes, so that's why there's one burner that has a higher output. Right here, it takes about 15 minutes to boil water on the back two burners. You do have the high point microwave with the range hood with the light and a little larger fridge. It's a 10 and a half cubic foot fridge. It's made by Norcold. The bunk area features the double wide bunks there is a 300 pound capacity on the bunks. You have upper and lower as you can see. In the bathroom, you have a porcelain toilet with a foot flush stool, large shower area, skylight, power vent fan, and a small upper vanity and lower vanity for storing those items. This is a GFI circuit here. Really nice woodwork. And overall, value in this coach uh, for the quality, I or this uh, camper for the quality, I found this camper to have the best quality for the money that I've ever seen. I've been 13 years in the industry. I've sold about every major manufacturer that you can think of, and uh, I'm very fond of this particular product. Uh, if I can help you further or you have any other questions, my name is Frank. My extension is 1626. I'm here at Paul Sherry RV. Pickle, Ohio. Thank you, folks.